Martin and Howard Carter would supervise the work so he wouldn't be doing it on his own. Now this gave Carter a taste particularly for the Valley of the Kings and he suspected that there might be burials there which had not been discovered and might possibly be intact. Carter's position overseeing Davis lasted only two years. Carter had been given a promotion and was transferred to Saqqara, while Davis and his team within the Valley of the Kings continued to dig deeply into the Earth's folds in search of buried treasure for another decade. During that time, Davis discovered objects from the burial of a long-lost pharaoh. It was obvious that they were Tutankhamun's materials because his name appeared on a number of the items. Uh, there was a linen shawl with his name and a date in his reign. Um, and his name occurred on some mud ceilings, uh, pieces of mud put over the necks of jars, uh, and then stamped. By 1909, Davis was convinced he had found what was left of the royal cache of Tutankhamun. And by that time, Carter was no longer at his post in Saqqara. By 1905, Carter had quit his prestigious position after having an argument